Hey Chris Riley, this is my Benchy that I printed on my Anet E10. Okay, this is the second Benchy I printed. I printed a second one because the first one stuck too well to the bed and it tore up the bottom of the boat. But um, now this here that you see here, that's because I have a, a slightly wobbling Z rod, which is 100% my fault. I tried turning the Z steppers by force instead of properly disassembling it, and so that's 100% my fault. But as you can see, this is not cleaned up. This is exactly as it came off the printer. There's your top chum box. Now, the settings I use to print this in Simplify 3D, 0.4 and 0.4. My retraction is 5 millimeters. My extra restart is negative 0.35. My coast is 0.25. My temperature is 195. I got much, much better results when I lower the temperature. And um, uh, what other settings are there? I think that's it. Just a 5 millimeter retract. Yep, that's it. And a 1.0 multiplier. This one, first printer I've ever used. Well, this one plus the ender. Uh, that did not need a reduction in the multiplier. 1.0 was the correct amount. That's unusual. Meaning they did some calibration at the factory. Now, I did make a change on the printer itself. I lowered the acceleration by half to um, um, no, 1,000. And I lowered the XY jerk to one half down to 10. And that made a huge difference. The printer doesn't even jiggle around on the table anymore. It's just super smooth. And as you can see, it's also super quiet. I did that by replacing the 340 millimeter fans. Now, I would also advise you to go and get CNC Kitchen's replacement shroud. It makes a huge difference. It also gives you nice clearance for the nozzle. It actually separates the... Yeah, I hope I didn't just wreck my print. <laughs> it separates the um, heat block from the 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 cold end of the hot end so that um it's not cooling off its own hot end wonderful the stock fan is pretty quiet it screams every now and then but it's usually pretty quiet and it just bolts right on two bolts put everything together screws through in use all the existing screws that's a definite must print and that's the only modification this printer needs it needs nothing else but um there you go i thought you'd like to see that this is what the e10 is capable of now, if you want to see a printer that prints a nearly perfect Benchy, the Ender, $200 on Amazon. This is the third print I made on the printer. The first print was the, the Clover that came with it, wrong G-code. It doesn't match this printer. And then I printed my Marvin, and then I printed this using the exact same settings I used for the a E10. This is amazing. <laughs> I've never seen such a clean Benji before, ever. This is not cleaned up. This is exactly as it came off the printer. The overhangs are perfect. And here's the other cool thing. No ringing. That's amazing. I did the same thing on this printer. Acceleration 1000, um, jerk 10. Absolutely perfect. And a very readable Hashtag 3D Bench on the back. Without the ringing, it actually comes out very clear. You can see just a hint of ringing on this side. I mean, just barely. You can see those little arcs there. I don't even know if I'd call that ringing. That might even be in the model because there's there's nothing on the anchor hole. No ringing at all. This printer is nothing short of amazing. I already ordered two more. It's going to be my parts machine. It's going, to, it's going to crank out parts for me. I still need to fine tune a little bit. You can see a little, little change there. A little change right there. I think that's my coast and extra restart. I'm going to tweak them. Yeah, I thought you'd like to see that.